Hello everyone, this video is for the smart people at the junior high, uh, the teachers that use Notebook 10. Uh, we now have 11 sets of the smart student response systems. Uh, the math department has four, the science department has five sets, which leaves two sets to be shared with everyone else. So this video is going to show you if you would like to use a set with your students. Uh, I'm going to show you the setup and everything that you need to get started. Uh, so here we go. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to be able to use the response systems, you need to make sure that you upgrade your Notebook 10 and have the version Notebook 10.7. Now to be able to do this, you can go to the case site, which is right here. Go to HTTP colon backslash backslash case v1000 just type that in here at school uh, it'll take you to the case site where you're gonna be have to log in using the name and password that you sign into your machine and then once you're logged in you'll be able to go to the software tab and you're gonna be able to install the smart notebook okay you're gonna choose that and then after you do that what you're going to be able to do is copy the product code. I don't want to show it here since I'm going to be posting this online, but you're going to need to copy that product code and then hit install now. Now just be patient because it's not going to probably start right away. Give it about five to ten minutes to start and then once it starts you'll just have to go through the installation process by hitting next and there's going to be a part where they're going to ask you for the product key and you just paste that number that code in there and it'll install uh, just a little warning it does take a while for this software to install onto your machine so give yourself about 30 minutes to be able to run the installation of the notebook at 10.7 uh, you want to make sure everything is closed like all your browsers are closed when doing the installation Okay, after you have the Notebook 10 installed, you most likely will have to restart your machine. After your machine restarts, then we're on to step two, which requires you to go to the self-install folder, which is located in the staff share. Again, I have some videos on this if you're not familiar, or again, just at any point, you can contact me if you need help with the installation. I'll come out and work with you one-on-one -on -one if you need help with this process. But within this self-install folder, you're going to be able to find the Smart Response install. And you'll just have to double-click that. Uh, again, make sure everything is closed. Make sure your Notebook 10 is not open. Uh, and run the installation. Again, this will take a while to run. And during this installation, once it starts installing, make sure you select Smart Response PE. They're going to give you a... Uh, part of the installation process, you're going to see a whole bunch of different types of response systems. The one that we're using is the PE, so make sure you have that selected, and then hit next, and it'll run through the installation process, and it'll install the necessary drivers to be able to use the response systems. After the response system is installed, you're going to notice that you're going to have a new icon down here in your taskbar, the Smart Response when you are with when you're in the notebook 10 you're also going to have a new tab uh, up top in your menu it's going to be the response and finally over here you're going to see a new tab that lets you know that everything was installed correctly